Good morning and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine TV Sydney Studios. Now the Australian share market is expected to open on a strong note this morning. According to the latest by Futures, the ASX 200 is expected to open 75 points higher or 1% higher. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P SX 200 was 1.1% higher or 78 points higher at 7,175. The best performing sector was information technology yesterday, up 3.3%. The sector with the fewest gains was energy, up 0.2%. The best performing stock was Life360. Their shares closed 7.4% higher at $5.22. The worst performing stock was Super Retail Group. Their shares closed 3.2% lower at $10.17. Now looking to some business news from this morning now, an AMPOL has welcomed the decision by the New Zealand Commerce Commission to provide clearance for its acquisition of Z Energy and that's subject to AMPOL's divestment of Gull. Now it remains subject to AMPOL obtaining overseas investment office approval, the requisite approval by Z Energy shareholders who will vote on the 25th of March and also final court orders being obtained. Ampol has agreed to sell its New Zealand petroleum distribution business to Australian investment manager Allegro for $534 million. And James Hardy Industries, they're a producer and marketer of high-performance fibre cement and fibre gypsum building solutions, has entered into an agreement to buy land in Melbourne in Victoria to enable continued capacity expansion. The Greenfield site is part of the group's global strategic capacity expansion program and will be the fourth manufacturing site within James Hardy's Asia-Pacific manufacturing network. Currently, there are manufacturing sites in New South Wales, Queensland and the Philippines. And VRX Silica reports that the Environmental Protection Authority of Western Australia has approved the company's environmental scoping document for proposed mining activities at its 100% owned Arrowsmith North Silica Sand project. This approval is a significant milestone in the environmental approvals process for Arrowsmith North and provides clarity for the company on the pathway to development. Well, now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. Hi there, James Preston for Kalkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Kalkine's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Kalkine TV. And welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. Over in the US on Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 1.55 percent. The S&P 500 surged up 2.24 percent and the Nasdaq ended 3.77 percent higher. Now the massive rise in the tech heavy Nasdaq is expected to lift Australian technology stocks. MSCI's World Equity Index gained 2.41%. European stocks rose, with sentiment buoyed by positive comments from Ukrainian and Russian officials on the prospects of an agreement to end the three-week-old conflict. The Pan-European Stock 600 Index rose 3.07%, while MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside of Japan closed 5.1% higher overnight. Oil bounced all over the place in another volatile session as traders reacted to the peace talks and a surprising increase in U.S. infantries. Brent crude traded at a six U.S. dollar range. That was between $97.55 and $103.70 before settling at $98.02. That was down $1.89 a barrel or 1.9%. 
WTI crude ended down $1.40 or 1.5% at $95.04 a barrel. Gold prices came under pressure after the Fed increased rates. Safe haven gold fell more than uh, to a two-week low, with spot gold falling 0.5% to $1,908 an ounce. The gold futures dipped 0.76% to 1913 US an ounce. Well, that's all for the Morning Outlook Report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.